I took my first yoga class about 10 years ago. It did not come naturally to me at all. It was really challenging, but I kept coming back. And time and time again, I was drawn back to the yoga practice, especially if I was going through a difficult time or a challenging time. Yoga was always there for me. After a few years of an on-again, off-again practice, one day I just decided that I was going to make yoga a part of my everyday life. I was going to practice every day. And once I took the practice into my life and I became dedicated to doing it every single day, I really started to see how it impacted and eventually transformed my life, which it is, of course, still doing today. I hope that through teaching yoga and sharing the practice, I can start to show people that we are all interconnected, we are all pretty much the same, and we are all one. And if we can all start to realize that, then we realize that what we do with our lives matters, our actions and our states of mind, and as such, we can make conscious decisions to do better and to be better and to impact the world in a positive way. When I teach yoga, it's really important to me that everyone feels welcome. So whether it's someone first time ever giving it a try or whether someone practices regularly or teaches themselves, I love to see a group of people come together and that's what the yoga sessions to me are really about. So it's a way for people to support each other, lift each other up, create good energy and positive vibes and then to explore their own personal journeys in a safe environment and it's something that's accessible to everyone so anyone can do yoga. When I teach I like to give lots of different options, lots of different variations and then to create as much space as I can so that people can explore their own practices and their own bodies and their own breath and just to see what the universe puts out there for them. My favorite thing about yoga, the beauty of yoga to me is that it's an invitation to try without having to worry about the outcome. So you can leave your comfort zone and try new things that maybe you don't think are possible for yourself and whether or not they are has nothing to do with it. So it's just a journey that unfolds. It's a process that you embrace. And when you do, then little by little, the impossible starts to become possible. And you can do things you never thought that you could. And you don't have to worry about whether or not you can. You just take it day by day, breath by breath.